Hey guys, it's Lighting with XP Build, and today I want to show you how to install a tile floor with absolute minimal tools. Okay, we're not even going to use a tile saw. So if you're interested in that, stick around. All right, now these are some of the things you're going to need to tile your floor. All right, so we're looking at you're going to need buckets. Okay, you want to have about three buckets. This is to rest your drill in thin said bucket and a water bucket and then you can use it for grout as well all right you need a sponge you need a drill with a paddle on it you need an a angle grinder okay it doesn't have to be battery just whatever with a diamond tip wheel okay now this is like a turbo blade and there's some other ones uh, all of them are gonna work pretty much the same obviously some are better than others and it just depends how good the cut is going to be um, you're gonna need a quarter inch trowel, all right? This is uh, quarter by quarter, all right? Or quarter by uh, three eighths or something. Um, a pointer, a grout float for grouting, a scraper to scrape the floor, and some kind of a broom to sweep up the floor. Obviously, you're gonna need thin set. This is some Versabond, great stuff. You can get it at Home Depot. Versabond LFT. LFT stands for large format. So big tiles, you want to use this. Also, when the thin set says LFT, that does mean it's large format and it's a less prone to sagging. So I like that. You know, you, you can build up the tile if, if you need it a little bit taller because your floor is screwed up or something and it's not going to sag. The regular thin set sags. And some grout. Okay, this is some prism grout. Um, I really prefer that prism grout because it doesn't discolor, all right, with any kind of water that you use, and it just doesn't have all the funny stuff that the other grout does. And it's a little bit more stain resistant. And obviously, the tile. This is what I have chosen, all right? So now that you have all your things and you have your floor, this is gonna be our floor, all right? Step number one, scrape it. Now sometimes uh, it's a little bit of an issue trying to get some of this paint off, you can see. All right, now what does help is to put a little bit of water on it. So don't be shy to get it wet and then let it just kind of penetrate into it and then it's gonna be a little bit easier to scrape it off. All right, so I'm gonna get to it. Okay, so we got the whole floor scraped out. Next thing you want to do is you want to wash it, okay? You want to take off the dust because obviously if there's dust, it ain't going to stick. Look how much dust I'm taking off, all right? This is the other side, clean side, dirty side. This is just one wipe. And obviously this is after sweeping, you still have that much dust. So make sure you wash that. Okay, so I got the floor clean, got the floor washed. Now the next thing is we want to do a little tile layout, okay? Now these are like 8 by 16 or 8 by 18 and obviously all tile is going to be different. You got a picture what kind of tile you have and then you also got a picture of how it's going to lay out and make sure you measure it out so you don't have a bunch of tiny cuts okay if you end up with like a one inch cut you have failed okay if you do that to a customer you're probably going to get fired so i mean it all depends right if you're setting one inch by four inch tile then obviously that's not the case but if you have big tile you don't have any excuse for making tiny cuts. Get off this wall, I already checked it out. The cut is gonna be decent. And basically, this is my cut that's gonna go here, nice and big. And then we're just gonna go random, okay? I'm gonna start pull off this wall. And then I'm gonna start like maybe half tile off the wall and just continue going random, okay? We don't want, we don't want none of these joints right here, in theory to line up. We want them to be all different, okay? So that way it actually looks like hardwood floor and it doesn't look like you have this continuous step going down, okay? I just, I don't like that look. I've had customers that wanted it, okay? Fine, you're paying for it, but that's not a desirable look, at least to me. So obviously I'm gonna do what I like best 
in my uh, little area. So let's get it done. Let, let's get started. So let's mix some thin set. All right, mixing thin set, super easy, super simple. Empty bucket, put some water in there first, and then you put the thin set uh, as much as you need. And then you wa add water as you go, okay? You don't want this stuff too watery, and you do not want it too dry either, because it's gonna be hell to spread, and your arm is not gonna be happy. Okay, grab your trowel. Glob your pointer, and we are ready to set. So, let's smear some thin set. All right, let's put down the first tile. Make sure you don't put it up against the wall too tight. You want a little bit of movement because obviously no wall is straight. They're all a little wavy or bow. So let's throw it in. I usually do it about a quarter inch from the wall. Okay, unless you got some tiny base, then you're gonna have to make your decision. And another thing I'm doing without any spacers. I love small joints. I don't like this big 316s. We don't necessarily use anything bigger than an eighth in our company, so I'm going tight on this one. It's gonna be perfect and beautiful. All right, now the next thing is I need to make a cut, okay? So I do wanna use an angle grinder. So basically, I'm gonna make a line. If you have um, a speed square, use it. I love a speed square, all right? So basically, we make the line and then, we're gonna start making the cut, okay? We're gonna use an angle grinder. All right, perfect. We made the cuts, no problem. Just use the angle grinder. Now, obviously, these cuts aren't the most beautiful. They're nice and per perfectly straight, but you see the chips on it. Now, I'll show you a trick how to cut it with the angle grinder without chips. What is it, boy? <laughs>
we're all finished up. This floor looks beautiful and I tell you what, it was very easy. And what I wanted to do is make it easy. I wanted to show you how easy it is and how you don't need any specialized tool in order to do a floor, okay? Something, something so simple. Now, obviously if you're doing uh, travertine or marble or porcelain, it's gonna be a problem trying to cut stuff with the Makita. But if you're doing some kind of a, a ceramic tile, hey, you should have no problem. And obviously it's not the cleanest cuts, but they work. I mean, look at them. Thank you so much for watching my videos. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for your help. <laughs> what is that? that you gotta go like this, like, yes. No, that, like, this means yes. Why? Because I just love it like that. Okay.